Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR and in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit the PNG graphics that you can often buy uh, a variety of places on the internet or from stock photo sites and use them to jazz up sales pages, slides, or any other content that you're creating. And in this particular example, I'm using some graphics that I got from a couple of professional graphic designers who sell a lot of these cute little cartoon characters. And I'll put the link underneath the video. And in this particular pack, they have three different sets of characters. One that they call Sexy Secretary, Smart Businesswoman, and um, a Smart Businessman as well. So there's a bunch of different things here. So let's go to, I'm going to open it up in Snagit, which is the photo edi editor that I'm using, but you might want to use some other one. I think Paint.net probably has the same abilities. Photoshop, a lot of people use. It's just too complicated for me. So let me open that up. And this is just the cover from the graphics pack. And you'll want to open up whichever image you want to edit. Here's one that I've already opened. Uh, this is the sexy secretary holding a laptop. And you'll see this little background that just looks like a grid. And that's the transparent background. That's what PNG graphics are. They have a transparent background. And you can change the color of that background or leave it blank and transparent so that it blends into any page. The background will end up being the color of that page. But here I could go into, I think it's in Draw or in Image, here in Image in Snagit. You go to Canvas Color and you can change it to any color. And you can actually hover over whatever different color you want and get some ideas. Or you can even select a color from the image. So I would just click on Select Color from Image and say I want the same color as this blue screen here. I just click on it and then that would be the background canvas cover. So for this one though I'm going to leave it transparent. So I'll click it back to transparent. And what you can do is take a screenshot of whatever website, for instance, your your own website, and size it to fit into this laptop screen. So if you're showing off a new website or a product, you can put it right there. So for instance, I did that over here, which is a little, let me zoom in so you can see it. I'll just go to View, Zoom, and make it 50%. And now you can see I did a screenshot of one of my pages. I resized it. And then once it was on here, I made it a little, you can make it bigger, smaller. So say it started out like that, you just take the corner and you shrink it down until it fits just right in that laptop. And then I can put that onto a page or a slide. Uh, let me show you one other one. Here's another image. This was a smart businesswoman, I think it's called, showing something. So this is a great way to get people to look at your e-cover your product or maybe some specific words you want to you want them to read because she's looking over to this side people's eyes will naturally look that way and you can change the background again here's one where I changed the background color and I then resized it by going to image and then resize resize image and you can put in whatever width or height you need to fit on your page. So it's going to come a lot bigger, most of these are, that you purchase. And then you just adjust it to fit wherever you need it. So I'm just going to click Cancel on that. And then I want to show you one other thing you can do. You can also add other images or combine a variety of images by just, say, starting a new canvas. So I'm going to say File, New, and you set the canvas, whatever you want. I'll just leave it as 600. You'll see it starts out as transparent. And then I can copy and paste some of these images right onto the canvas and move them around. So let's take um, this one. Let's. Oh, this is really big. So this. see if you look down at the lower left, it says 1024 by 1280 that's not going to fit on that little canvas that I just created. So let's shrink this down. Just go to Resize, Resize Image. Now, 
before you can copy an image like this that you just created, where I've put two images together, you need to flatten them. So you can't resize it until everything's finished. So I'm going to flatten objects and continue. I'll leave it at this size, let's say 300, because the new canvas I think was 600. If OK. Now I have a little one, but I can always make it bigger. So I'm going to go Control C, go back to my new canvas, Control V, and there it is. And then you can add some text to go with it. So I could move her over to the side and then go to Draw and do the text, some drawing tools. They have some samples, but you can play around with that. So let's take a style and then draw a box where you're going to put it and put in some text. So introducing um, this was from this particular screenshot was from an, a product I did on e-newsletters or email newsletters. So the art of highly effective um, e-newsletters. And then you can just highlight all that and make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make it much bigger, maybe even bigger than that. And just play around with that however you want. Bigger, smaller, you name it. And then you can save that whole image and put it right onto a sales page. And because it has a transparent background, it'll stay. It'll blend in with the page. So let me show you one more thing where I actually insert one in the slide and combine it with a slide in the background of the slide. So let's close this again over to PowerPoint. Now here's the first slide in a PowerPoint presentation I have for a product on um, WordPress basics and it's a slideshow on, on WordPress quick tips. So if you wanted to jazz this up a bit you could add one of those characters. So let's go to insert picture and you go to wherever on your disk or on your hard drive has the different images and this particular one is the smart businessman and there's a bunch of things he's holding like a book. We'll make this a bit bigger things like a book, a briefcase, calculator. So pick something that goes with um, the theme. This is WordPress, which is the computer. So I'll take that laptop one again. I'm going to go Insert. And it's inserted. This happens to be just almost exactly a good size for it. But it might come out bigger or smaller. And why don't we just take this WordPress symbol and put it right on the computer. Now, obviously, the WordPress symbol is too big. So we're going to have to make it small enough to fit on the computer. I'll move it over here to the computer. Now it's not showing up because it's moved behind the image. So what you need to do is go up to the picture tools and you can bring forward, send backwards, whatever you want. I still have that image highlighted, so I want to bring it forward. And now it's on top of the laptop. It just needs to be a little bit smaller shrink it down so it fits right on that screen and put it in the middle or as close to the middle as you can do and there we go. I can't put this particular image into the presentation that I sell since I'm selling PLR and I don't have the resale rights to this image but it's something these sorts of images you can pick up so cheaply in all sorts of special offers so it's worth getting a bunch of them keeping a library of them that you can always draw on whenever you need some images and I particularly love Snagit as I said but there are other images image editors out there as well hope that helped